Okay. So this is Team Z. Um, you just would go to teamz.com, T-E-A-M-Z-Y.com to download it. it. I believe 30 days for free for the trial until you have to um, start paying. And then it's um, $30 a month. Um, so what's really nice, um, just like see his back office, there's a dashboard and that's where you see the dashboard of your business. <clears throat> and so, um, what you'll do is that you first have to like add contacts to your CRM. So when you add a contact, um, you can do it individually, or if you want to impact, uh, um, import your like whole Facebook friends, you can do that. Um, so like individual, and then you like uh, categorize it by prospects, customers, distributors. You wanna do like Facebook. Um, this will be a little <sighs> video of how to upload it. And then once you put them in a CSV file, um, again, if you watch the video, it'll tell you how to do it. You upload all your contacts through the CSV file. And then it, it walks you step-by-step step on how to import contacts. Um, so it's really easy, uh, really user-friendly. Um, I'm going to go back. So I have imported um, all of my contacts and so forth. And then um, every day it gives you basically um, assignments to do. And when you first register for it, depending on your goals, it'll tell you how many prospects, customers, distributors, shares, ads, like people to add to your list um, to do every single day to get to your goals. And so that's nice. So it kind of like is like, you know, like the ASEA circle as well. It fills up once you do everything basically. Um, <clears throat> and then the power hour. So it'll tell you, you know, what prospects to follow up with, what customers to follow up with, distributors to follow up with, who's on your follow-up um, list and so forth. And so um, I'll just go through the follow-up right now. So Paula Stanley will take, for instance, um, so I was gonna, let's see. Let me click on. So the follow-up is September 11th. Um, so it's past due, obviously, but it'll tell you the date and it'll select, you'll select this activity of how you followed up with them. So all of these are the different ways to follow up with them. Um, so you'll click on whatever way you follow up with them. Say it's a text. For example, there's email or in person or on Facebook or messenger or any of that kind of stuff. So you can click on how you followed up with them because you mm -hmm. can text them or whatever. I just want um, to see that. You can, you can log what you said to them. And then if there's another follow-up in place, you can do another follow-up, whether, whether it's a customized date, uh, which you can put here, or you can just select follow-up in a week, you know, how, whenever you're going to follow up with them. Um, if you shared business opportunity with them, you would put in sh shared a business opportunity with them or products. Um, if you don't know what exactly what to say, they also have scripts for you um, to give you ideas of what to say and so forth. Uh, so it's very, uh, you know, I've been following up mostly with text or Facebook Messenger. So if you click on Facebook Messenger, it'll just kind of give you just different scripts of maybe what to say to them. You can pick which one resonates with you and or just kind of reward it into what you would say. Um, so that's what that is. And then at the end, you log your contact and it keeps track of all of that for you. And then it tells you it, the name will pop up when your follow-up is due. So like when she follows up, we've been trying to reach Paula Stanley. That's why it's overdue. But anyway, and um, and then once once she responds or whatever, you can put the response in and then you can pick another date to follow up with her and it mm -hmm. will pop back up when that date comes. 
and each person has a number by them and um, each number represents, like you can rank each person of how hot they are basically. Um, and if you don't remember, again, it'll tell you like um, under the help center, um, it tells you ranking your contacts. So I've used this of like one, someone you don't want to mark it up to and they'll never show up on who's on your, who's up next list. Two is they're pretty cold. Maybe follow up with them every 120 days. They may or may not be a customer and so forth. So you can kind of like rank each customer um, as well. And that's how often they're going to show up on your list. Um, so that's that. You can click on activity and it'll show you the history of your activity with them. Any details that you've put about them or any notes. Um, so that's what I've done. It's pretty easy. Um, Does it have a calendar, Jackie? I'm sorry? Does it have a calendar where you look at the month and you see who to contact and where, where they're at? No, it'll just say who the follow-up is. And then like, um, like, I mean, it's pretty long. Like, so it gives you future dates of who you're still following up with and so forth. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. but no, I think, I think Sophia's up. So, okay. Um, I could try to answer the questions. I know she's more thorough with this. I use this on a daily, pretty much a daily basis. And, um, I do have, I do still keep my, um, daily planner so I could see it, you know, if I need to write it all out, but this just, you can, if you go to it every day, just for a quick look, it'll tell you who you're supposed to follow up with that day. And then you can check it all off. Um, Anyway, but it's relatively easy as you saw to kind of figure out because um, I had, you know, Jackie did show me, but then it took a while for me to jump in because I was traveling. And so when I came back, I just was able to just jump in and start adding people. And I just, uh, I added some people, but I, um, I've been adding new ones. That's what's really helped me. Anybody new that I've talked to, um, like Siobhan, I just, I just added her. Um, and when to follow up and stuff like that. So that's the team Z and um, I have found it very helpful basically. So does a team Z email from that or does that you still have to go back to your email to email? Yeah, no, I, I email through my own email. Okay. I just, I just log it in there. So basically all that's doing is separating your leads from your. Yeah. It's telling you exactly what to contact. do every day, like your, your follow-ups <laughs> you're supposed to follow up with and stuff like that, or who to contact if you're dripping on somebody, you know, if you've got a prospect, <clears throat> you know, and you haven't heard back from them, you know, it's time to connect with Pearl again, <clears throat> you know, that kind of thing. It's just a really good uh, way to, keep up what you're supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, how, how long have you been using that? I've been using it, um, I'd say probably three months or so. Okay. Um, so I, yeah, I guess I could have showed you all when you were here. <laughs> no, well, but anyway, no, um, good organization. that's what, you know, especially if I'm, you know, and it's really neat, like if I'm, following up with some of you guys, I have your prospects in here, whatever, and I can make notes on it. So Jackie and I shall run through. Have you, have you heard back from Paula? No, I haven't, but whatever, uh, that kind of thing. So it helps you keep track of other people's people sometimes too, if you're putting them in, in your team, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to stop the recording then real fast. <laughs>